Did you know that bottles of Corona are transparent for a reason? Sounds weird, doesn't it? But it's true. You must be wondering why they're transparent. Watch the video until the end to learn about this secret regarding your favorite beer, its history, and the complete production process. From mixing the raw materials, malting, mashing, watering, boiling, fermentation, maturation, filtration, to carbonation, and bottling, each step is done with love and ensures quality. Corona is a beer brand produced by Grupo Modelo in Mexico and is currently owned by Anheuser-Busch and Bev. It's one of the most popular beers in the world, but a beer as popular as Corona shares a long history. Corona was first brewed in 1925 at the Cerveceria Modelo Brewery in Mexico City. The beer was originally called Corona Extra and was intended to be a premium beer that would appeal to the upper class in Mexico. However, the beer quickly became popular with the general public, and by the 1930s, it was the best-selling beer in Mexico. In 1976, Corona Extra was introduced to the United States. The beer was initially met with resistance from American beer drinkers, who were used to heavier, more flavorful beers. However, Corona Extra's crisp and light taste eventually won over American consumers. By the 1980s, it was one of the most popular imported beers in the United States. Today, Corona Extra is the top-selling imported beer in the United States. It's also one of the most popular beers in the world and is available in over 180 countries. It's also the official beer of the FIFA World Cup. Corona Extra has been featured in many movies and television shows, including The Big Lebowski, Friends, and Seinfeld. In 2022, Corona Beer had a global revenue of $7.3 billion. This represented a growth of 17.6% from 2021. The United States is the largest market for Corona Beer, accounting for 40% of global revenue. Other major markets for Corona Beer include Mexico, Brazil, and China. You must be wondering how Corona Beer is made. Then let's look into the procedure through which Corona Beer is obtained. The ingredients in Corona beer include water, malted barley, hops, rice, and yeast. The beer also contains corn syrup, which is used as a sweetener. The beer is produced entirely in Mexico. The company developed their own barley seeds that took them seven years to get it right because they were aiming for the highest quality. The process begins with barley grains that are soaked in water for 48 hours and allowed to germinate. During germination, enzymes are activated which start converting the starches in the barley into fermentable sugars. Once germination is complete, the barley is dried in a kiln to produce malted barley. The time that barley is dried in a kiln to make beer can vary depending on the type of malt being produced, the desired flavor profile, and the ambient conditions. However, in general, the drying process typically takes between 16 and 40 hours. The first step in the drying process is to remove the surface moisture from the barley. This is done by heating the grain to a temperature of 50 to 60 degrees Celsius, 122 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the surface moisture has been removed, the temperature is raised to 65 to 75 degrees Celsius, 149 to 167 degrees Fahrenheit, for a period of two to three hours. This is the curing stage, during which the malt develops its characteristic flavor and color. The final step in the drying process is to reduce the moisture content of the malt to 4-6%. to This is done by heating the grain to a temperature of 80 to 105 degrees Celsius, 176 to 221 degrees Fahrenheit. The drying process is complete once the moisture content has been reached. This malt provides the sugars necessary for fermentation. The malted barley is mixed with hot water in a vessel called a mash tun. The heat activates the enzymes in the malt, which break down the starches into fermentable sugars, creating a sweet liquid called wort. After mashing, the wort is separated from the solid remains of the malt in a process known as laudering. The liquid wort is collected and the leftover grain is removed. The collected wort is transferred to a large kettle and boiled. During this stage, hops are added to the boiling wort. Hops are flowers that provide bitterness, flavor, and aroma to the beer. After boiling, the wort is rapidly cooled and transferred to fermentation vessels, which are often large stainless steel tanks. The wort is cooled to pitching temperature, 
which is typically between 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 and 23 degrees Celsius. The cooling process can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of the batch and the method of cooling. Once fermentation is complete, the beer is left to mature in the fermentation vessels or transferred to separate maturation tanks. It's typically left to mature in the fermentation vessels for four to six weeks. The first two to four weeks are spent in the primary fermentation vessel, where the yeast converts the sugars in the wort into alcohol and carbon dioxide. After the primary fermentation is complete, the beer is transferred to a secondary fermentation vessel where it's allowed to condition for an additional two to four weeks. During this time, the yeast continues to work, cleaning up any leftover byproducts of fermentation and developing the flavor of the beer. This aging period allows the flavors to develop and the beer to clarify. After maturation, the beer may undergo filtration to remove any remaining solids or yeast particles, resulting in a clearer beer. Corona beer is filtered using a process called cross-flow filtration. This is a type of microfiltration that uses a filter with very small pores to remove particles from the beer. The filter is typically made of ceramic or cellulose acetate, and the pores are typically about 0.2 microns in diameter. In addition to removing particles, cross-flow filtration also helps to clarify the beer. This is because the filter also removes some of the proteins and other compounds that can make the beer cloudy. This gives Corona beer its characteristic clear golden color. The carbonation level is important for the flavor and mouthfeel of the beer. It also helps to preserve the beer and prevent it from becoming stale. Corona beer is typically carbonated at a level of 2.7 volumes of CO2. This means that there are 2.7 milliliters of carbon dioxide dissolved in every 100 milliliters of beer. The finished beer is then packaged into bottles, cans, or kegs, ready to be distributed and enjoyed by customers. Now, you must be wondering about the reason behind Corona's transparent bottles. Well, the transparent bottles of Corona are designed to let the sunlight in. The sunlight helps in keeping the beer fresh. Not only that, the company also wanted to keep its beer different from the other brands. Thus, it started serving its beer in transparent bottles letting the customers see the fresh beer. Is Corona your favorite beer? Do tell us your answers in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this episode. Hit like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.